Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to explain Euler's method and what it is used for. So let's say you're given a differential equation, y prime is equal to y. You're also given the initial value at point 0, 01. And the problem wants you to estimate what is y at 2. So basically what this means is when x is equal to 2, what is y going to be? And with Euler's method, you can approximate this value. And it's actually very simple. One way to find y at 2 is to solve for y. And sometimes that's not possible because some differential equations are very hard to solve. But let's say you're able to solve for y and you get y is equal to e to the power of x. Then y at 2, y at 2 is equal to e to the power of 2. But like I said before, sometimes it's not possible to find this function. So that's when you have to use Euler's method. So let's say that the red curve is our solution curve. And Euler's method says that we can look at the slope field. And here the slope is like this. So we draw a line from here to here. From the initial value up until x is equal to 1. And from here, we look at the slope again. And it's slanted more upwards. So we draw it again, this line is more slanted upwards. And from Euler's method, there's a formula. And let's say here you get y at 2 is equal to 2.7 point something something. Well, this value is close to the true value, which is the red curve. It's close, but it's still not accurate enough. There is one way you can make it even more accurate. And the way to do it is to draw more lines. So as you can see here, we now have four lines. And the more lines we have, the closer we get to its true value. It is important to know what is a step size. So in this yellow line, we go from here to here, right? So on the y-axis, this is a step. And the size of the step is 1. That's called the step size. The smaller your step size, the more lines you're going to get and therefore the more accurate your approximation. And here is the formula for Euler's method. So go ahead and copy it down and we'll start with some real examples. Use Euler's method with step size 0.1 to estimate y at 0.3, where y of x is the solution to the initial value problem. And we're given this differential equation, y prime is equal to x plus y, and the initial value is y at 0 is equal to 1. So let's write down what we know. We know that the step size h is equal to 0 0.1. We want to find y at 0, 3. So basically, when x is equal to 0 0.3, what is y going to be? And we're also given x at 0 is equal to 0, then y at 0 is equal to 1. Let's use the formula. We're going to take our first step and we get x at 1. And x at 1 is what? It's equal to x at 0 plus h. And x at 0 is 0 plus h, which is 0 0.1. And that gives you 0 0.1. Go ahead and copy it down. What is y at 1? Well, y at 1 is equal to h times f x n minus 1, which is what? That's going to be x 0 comma y 0 plus y 0. So h is 0 0.1 times f. And what is x 0? x 0 is 0 here. y 0 is 1 plus y 0, which is also 1. Now, we have to find what is f at 0 and 1. Well, basically, f x y right now it's just this equation so we just replace the y prime with f x y and that's x plus y so f at 0 and 1 is basically 0 plus 1 which is 1 0 0.1 times 1 is 0 0.1 and plus 1 is 1.1 so here we record it down y1 is equal to 1.1. What is x2? Well, x2 is x1 plus h. So we are drawing our second line. And x1 is 
0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 and that is 0 0.2 We calculate y2, and y2 is h times f x1, comma y1 plus y1, and h is 0 0.1 times f x1 is 0 0.1. y1 is 1.1 plus y1, which is also 1.1. Let's calculate this one. So f 0 0.1 and 1.1 is equal to 0 0.1 plus 1.1 which gives you 1.2 and if you put this in your calculator you get 1.22 how about x3 well x3 is x2 plus h and x2 is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1, that gives you 0 0.3. How about y3? Oh, y3 is h times f x2, comma y2, plus y2. So h is 0 0.1 times f at x2, and x2 is 0 0.2, comma y2 is 1.22, plus 1.22 and again we calculate this one this will give us 0 0.2 plus 1.22 which is 1.42 and all of this gives you 1.362 We're almost finished because the problem is asking for y at 0 0.3. And here we have when x is equal to 0 0.3, then y is 1.362. And this is just the approximate to the actual value or the true value of the solution curve. So all we have to do is just say that y at 0 0.3 or the true value is approximately 1.362. And that's basically it for today. If you found this video helpful, if you enjoy it, don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe if you haven't. And in the next video, I will show you how to solve some differential equations.